What's up? So I reached out to you guys asking what your top three favorite locations to drop in Fortnite is. And I got back over 20,000 responses. So basically what we're going to be doing for this video is ranking every single location based off of the community's responses. So this is an actual objective list of what the greatest dropping location in Fortnite is. And honestly, um, I, I'm really surprised at the results. Anyways, before we do get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, could please help us reach 2.5 million subscribers. That would be much appreciated. Um, other than that though, Let's do this. All right, so for this list, we've got named and unnamed locations. Um, I chose not to include the block because it's constantly evolving. I just didn't think that would be fair for the list. Also, um, no flush factory because it's, it's basically non-existent. And also the mansion because I believe it's going to get phased out pretty soon. Anyways, that left us with 29 locations. So coming in at our lowest spot, the lowest voted, lowest enjoyed location in Fortnite, this is going to be the trailer park. This actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, the trailer park next to Retail Row is a very bad dropping location. It's got very bad loot. It's unnamed. I, I can't really see why anyone would uh, prefer to drop here. But despite this, okay, what's really interesting is the trailer park still got 522 votes. Over 500 people in this 20,000 people survey put it in their top three. That is ridiculous. Anyways, moving on to number 28, this is going to be the Gus racetrack. Now, I'm actually pretty surprised at this one. While I didn't expect it to do super well, I actually thought that this racetrack was a little bit more popular than it apparently is. The Gus racetrack finished with 795 votes, and my expectation, or I guess my prediction as to why this was so low, is probably just because it's right next to Paradise, and people are much more likely just to continue on if they have the option to go there over the racetrack. Now, moving on to number 27, this is going to be Junk Junction. Junk Junction finished with 819 votes, putting it as the lowest named location on the list. And this was shortly followed by Haunted Hills at 828. Those locations have just been around for a very long time, and I think people are kind of sick of them, kind of tired of them, um, and there's just honestly a lot of better places you can drop besides them. And at number 25, surprisingly enough, this is going to be the lake that is covered Greasy Grove. I was actually predicting that this would probably be in the bottom two, um, but interestingly enough, it got 878 votes. All right, so moving on to 24, this is the third lowest named location on this list, and it is Lonely Lodge. I would say that this, again, uh, actually makes quite a bit of sense. I recently did a video personally ranking every named location, and I put it about middle of the pack at 11 out of 19, um, but it seems as though Lonely is certainly not that popular to the general community. Lonely finished with 1,107 votes. At number 23, we had Snobby Shores with 1,136 votes. Uh, again, I, I would say that's pretty par for the course. Now, surprisingly enough, moving on to our number 22nd spot, this is Lucky Landing. I personally ranked Lucky as the seventh worst, um, and this it's actually getting ranked as far as name locations go as the fifth. Lucky Landing had 1181 votes. Now moving on to our number 21 spot, this is going to be the stadium next to Tilted Towers. I think the biggest reason people like to land here is because it's next to Tilted. A lot of time you see people kind of panic going here because Tilted is just too crazy or they got a bad drop. So. I, I'm not surprised to see it kind of high on the list, but I also do sort of question why people actually like this place. I'm not saying that it's bad, I just have a high suspicion that it's because it's right next to Tilted. And to top out our 20 list, this is going to be Wailing Woods. Now here's something really interesting. The stadium got 1186 votes, Wailing Woods got 1187, so these two are practically tied. I actually ranked Whaling as the second worst in the list, and uh, it's interesting to see that it turns out people actually do like it a lot more than me. Which is actually going to be followed by our 19th spot, uh, and this is Tomato Temple. Now, I'm going to stand by what I've said in the past about Tomato Temple. I really think that it is a bad location. Got decent proximity to the Divot and, and other areas, but I really just think it's got bad loot. Um, anyways, 12... 133 people liked it enough to put it in their top three. Now at number 18, this is going to be the factories. Okay, now this is something I could have understood pre-season seven, um, but I'm really, I'm really surprised that still to this day, factories rank fairly high. I mean, don't get me wrong, factories are good, but they've kind of been ruined from the, the, the island that came in and broke everything. Um, but yeah, 
Factories came in at 18th with 1,469 votes. Now, I'd be really interested to see where the OG Factories would have played um, if they were still in the game. Anyways, moving on to our number 17 spot. This is going to be Happy Hamlet. Happy Hamlet had 1,565 votes. At number 16, we had Shifty Shafts with 1,594 votes. And the median location of locations to drop in Fortnite coming in right smack dab at 15 with 1,665 votes is Frosty Flights. This is something I'm actually very surprised about. Um, I thought with the recent plane nerf, uh, this would be a much less desirable location as that was really the only thing I feel like it had going for itself. Um, but again, this is, uh, according to you guys, the average location. And actually another surprising one coming in at 14 are the shipping containers. This is a location that in my eyes is, is very equivalent to the trailer park. It's, you know, right beside it and I would say an equivalent amount of loot. This place certainly has much more loot than the trailer park, don't get me wrong. But landing here with more than one other person, I'm certainly going to feel unequipped leaving. Despite this though, the shipping containers got 1,699 votes. Of most of these locations, this is another one that really stood out to me as very surprising. It does have good location, but still. Now moving on to our number 13 spot, this is going to be the motel at the northern, northwestern part of the map. This is mind boggling because if you think how close this is to Junk Junction and, and how like similar the loot is, I would have thought the motel would have done a lot worse. Just on the fact that all these like northwestern corner areas don't do so well, um, I really would have expected motel to be bad. But the motel actually had 1,735 votes and is the third highest unnamed location on this list. Now, following this, we're gonna kind of start seeing some pretty radical jumps in votes. Um, coming in at number 12, this is Polar Peak. Polar Peak saw 1,990 votes. Polar Peak is kind of interesting. It's got incredible loot and is very hard to rotate out of. I find that this is a location that if I land there, again, I will get incredible loot and I won't see a lot of players for the rest of the game. Now coming in at 11, this is going to be the Viking village up top of the mountain, um, actually ranking as the second highest unnamed location. Viking village got 2,232 votes and another shocking result. I really just didn't consider that people still drop here. I think the rifts have to be a big reason why people do like these. Still very surprising to me. It doesn't seem to be a location that has that great loot. Um, and considering it's right next to Snobby, which has much better loot, um, I, I just, it, it, it is kind of weird to me. Again though, I think what this is coming from is it's gotta be the rifts. Anyways, uh, we've now reached the top 10. I will say that the top 10 as a whole is predictable. And as far as order goes, completely changed what I thought of everything. Tilted is not number one and, and there is just some weird stuff going on. Anyways, let's continue. So coming in at our number 10 spot, um, this was a bit of a shock to me with 2,394 votes. This is Fatal Fields. Now I'm not a huge fan of Fatal Fields myself, but I always have had this sneaking suspicion that it was kind of like a, a noob drop place. Whenever I do go to Fatal, I just don't see a lot of very good players. And for some reason in my head, I've just always assumed like, oh, a lot of noobs go there. But that doesn't make sense because I don't go there. I always expected Fatal to be like a low key, high traffic area. And while it does fit in the top 10, um, it's not as high as I would have expected it to rank. Now at number nine, this is another one that I think is going to shock a lot of people. Um, this is Lazy Links. Lazy Links got 2,460 votes. To me, this is the big shocker. Um, of all my friends that I know that play casually, they religiously drop Lazy. And, and I know so many people online, I see it Lazy, Lazy, Lazy. I really thought that Lazy was gonna rank higher. And actually, I'm glad that it's only ranking at nine because it, it, it doesn't deserve to be any higher than it is. For what Lazy is, it's gotta be the most highly dropped location like per capita as far as chests go. There's really not an overabundance of loot, um, yet sometimes you'll see as many people going here as you'd see a tilted drop. It, it really baffles me. Anyways, moving on to our number eight spot. Um, this was really sad for me because it's, I think, possibly my favorite location. This is Dusty Divot. Dusty Divot has incredible resources, incredible shields, because mushrooms, 
decent loot, and cover. That's why I think Dusty Divot is probably the best location to drop, um, but I guess the community disagrees with me. Dusty Divot finished with 3,174 votes. Now, number seven, this is kind of predictable. Uh, this is Paradise Palms with 3,371 votes. Paradise Palms is basically the tilted towers of the southeast. It's got a ton of resources, a ton of loot, high uh, traffic area, but it's just got kind of a bad location. More importantly though, it's right beside one of the most coveted drop areas in the game. Anyways, we'll get to that in a little bit. Moving on to our number six spot, this is going to be Loot Lake. Now Loot Lake is in my personal top three as far as solo drops go, but I, I don't think it really even deserves number six. If we're talking solo games, then yes, um, but Loot Lake is probably one of the worst dropping locations in duos and especially squads. The thing with Loot Lake is it really, a lot of the time, comes down to that just getting a good first gun um, and having a, a range to shoot people from across the way. And once you have four people versus four people versus another four people, it just it's, it's a cluster and it, it's a mess and there's really not a lot of skill going on at this spot. That being said, incredible loot. Uh, just fantastic. It's got a good rotation to tilt it or really wherever you want to go. Anyways, Loot Lake finished with 3,450 votes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at our number five spot, the highest ranking unnamed location in Fortnite, I think that was expected, uh, is the little Mexican village just south of Paradise Palms. Oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't include that little mini junk junction also south of Paradise Palms or the gas station. Yeah. Sorry if those are your favorite locations, and if they are your favorite locations, you're weird. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but like really, I, I messed that up. I'm sorry, I literally just realized. But anyways, let's move on. So Loot Lake had 3,400 votes. Um, the Little Mexican Village gets 4,959. I'm actually surprised. I, I thought it was gonna do better than five. I mean, really, I think the only reason this didn't do better than, than five is honestly, just because it didn't have a name. Um, I, I really tried to be very clear. The title of this one was Little Mexican Village uh, at the south bottom of the map, like next to Paradise Palms. Like I was trying to be very specific of what this was. And I wonder if people just didn't know what I meant. Regardless, this is one of the best locations to drop in the game. Great loot, you usually don't get too many people. You get you get a lot of people, but not too many like with, with Lazy Lynx. Um, it's, it's just really good. Okay. So now we're down to the four. We've got four locations. Three of them are OG. The other one is tilted. Um, we've got Pleasant Park, Retail Row, Salty Springs, and again, tilted. Again, not, not unexpected, but the order certainly is. Coming in at number four, this is going to be Pleasant Park. So Pleasant Park takes it up another notch. We've got 5,653 votes. This one's kind of weird. Um, I, I, I think it actually makes sense that Pleasant is, is the bottom of this top Elite Four. Um, maybe primarily just due to location. I could also see it being because it's, it's kind of spread out. Um, it's very easy for your teammates to die if you know you, they, your teammate and another person land the same building and they get thirsted. I, I don't know if that's it. Maybe just less loot than other locations, bad ro rotation, I, I really don't know. But for whatever reason, um, Pleasant Park is just the hard, like definitively worse of these four. And this is where it gets really weird. We've got Salty, Retail, and Tilted. Between the four of these locations, the difference in voting was 45 votes. 45 votes between number three and number one. Anyways though, coming in at number three, with 5,970 votes, this is Tilted Towers. And actually what I think is probably safe to argue is that Tilted Towers is not worse than Retail or Salty. I, I think what this suggests, I mean, it's less than a 1% difference. It's less than a 0.1% difference actually, um, is, is just variance. Tilted Towers is obviously a super popular location to go. And uh, really, if this is one of your favorite locations, it's just probably due to your, your preference and play style. So, We've got two locations left. Coming in at exactly 6,000 votes, which was really weird that this is a flat line 6,000, uh, is going to be Salty Springs. Salty Springs is uh, just everything in a good location. I've actually recently started dropping there a lot. I, I, I stopped for a while. Um, I mean, it's got loot, it's got materials, it's got players, it's got a good 
rotation zone. But apparently, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at a number one spot, as, as you know, it's, it's Retail Row with 6,015 votes. Again, Tilted Towers with 5,970, Salty with 6,000, Retail Row with 6,015. It is, it is that close. So really, um, I don't know why retail specifically is uh, technically the winner. I mean, again, it's less than a 0.1% difference, so it's not that monumental, but I am still surprised. So really, if there's anything you can get out of this, it's that retail, salty, and tilted are pretty much unanimously the player base's favorite spot to drop. Uh, Pleasant is, isn't too far off that, and the Le Little Mexican Village is, isn't far from there. Trailer Park, Gus Racetrack, Junk Junction, Haunted Hills, uh, Greasy Grove, Frozen Over, Lonely Lodge, Snobby Shore, some of the worst or, or less popular locations to drop. Overall makes sense, the ordering surprised me, and uh, yeah, that's our video. Anyways, before we do end this, this was kind of a new format for me, um, and I'm really curious to see what you guys think of this, whether you like it or not. So. Um, First of all, let me know what you thought. And second of all, I'm going to do another survey on guns. Top link in the description, go fill it out. Um, and, and you know, you can get involved in this and maybe we can get 50,000 in this title. Next title can be, I asked 50,000 people what their favorite gun in Fortnite is or something like that. Uh, yeah. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you did enjoy the video, subscribe, help me get to that 2.5 million subscriber milestone. That would be most appreciated. And uh, yeah, just thank you for watching all the way through. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.